we were in a taxi. <laughs> we, had, we had left the church, and we were um, coming home to the hotel, and we were in this little taxi. We had gotten here, and we were driving. And like we were just talking, and all of a sudden, we were coming around this turn, and all of a sudden, I hear a th- like the entire car shakes. And our taxi cab got hit. Someone like literally like bumped into our cab, and then he instead of he drove off. It was a hit and run. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's not even the best part. What does our taxi cab driver do, being Colombian and thinking he's Dom Toretto? He turns around and begins to chase him. And mind you, we're on the wrong side of the road. I have motorcycles ripping past us this way, and I'm over here holding on for a dear life. And this guy's rolling down the window and is like, pull over, pull over. And the other guy's like, <laughs> so he finally, you now he's not having it. If you want to see him get close as you can to being an angry person, you should see him whenever I'm in some sort of danger, because he turns into a whole different story. He gets beat red, and he looks like a lobster until you put it in the pot. And he, his eyes get big, and he gets like, he's like, oh, he gets mad. You see his veins pop out of his neck, and he gets angry. That's how he was. <laughs> and I tell you, it's like, I would not want to be that taxi cab driver if something went wrong. <laughs> because, but luckily, we had a translator, Alejandro, my Colombian uncle. And he, we got out, and we, we're in the bad part of Cali. We're, like, in the eastern, more, like, section. And it's night. There's, like, graffiti on the walls. Our taxi cab driver's crazy. <laughs> we get out, and we walk to this little cafe, and we sit down. And we're just, like, a couple of gringos and an interpreter sitting at this cafe. And these, they walk up, food, and they're like, do you want anything? And we're like, no. We're good. We just, we're just sitting here, like. We had to call an Uber, and luckily Ubers are better drivers than taxi cab drivers. But that was, like, I remember, like, that was something I kind of checked off in my head, like, that's a story I'm going to tell. Because <laughs> that was wild. And it's better, it was, it sounds, it's a good story, but it was better to be in the moment and, like, live through it. Like, the adrenaline going through your head, and you're like, oh, this is what it feels like to be a race car driver. And I was in the, and it wasn't even like, you could tell this taxi cab driver was not happy. And it gets funnier because we were in our Uber driver and all of a sudden we pull up to a red light and we look over and we see it's the same taxi cab driver with the bump, the dent in the back of the car. And he's like just looking at us like, (laughs) (laughs) he's just like, he just like realized it was us and he was like, oh. And we didn't pay him. Like, we're not paying him for that. <laughs> we're not going to give you money to endanger us. And <laughs> if we wanted that, we'd go to a roller coaster or something. 